Hi, I'm Jimmy. In this video, I want to show you what happened when I reached out to one of the many investment scams out there. Uh, I got them from, you know, they comment on a lot of YouTube investment videos and I'm sure many other places. So broadly speaking, it would seem that most people would recognize the fact that these comments are scams. But the fact that these scammers c continue to run uh, these investment scams and continue to put up posts implies that at least some people are falling for these scams, otherwise they wouldn't be doing it. So here's a good example of what these investment scams look like. This was a comment that came from one of our recent videos. And as you can see, it sort of rambles on and on. And then it says that this particular investor was able to make make eight Bitcoin with just an initial investment of 1.5 Bitcoin. Now, just so we're all on the same page, right now, Bitcoin is trading for about $9,000. So what they're saying in this scam is that for an investment of $13,500, they were able to get back $72,000 in just three weeks. And like clockwork, as most of these scams go, almost right away, this comment had bots reply to this particular comment with things like, well, this is great. And this turned my life around in just three weeks and on and on it goes. Now, most of us can look at this and say, this is garbage. I hate scams like this, but some people must fall for it. Otherwise they wouldn't be doing it. Okay. That being said, if we've ever been curious what, what is behind these scams, I've actually been curious, not if it's legit or not, just how crazy is this scam? So what I did is I reached out to one of these investment scammers. Now I actually don't have the original message anymore since I didn't take a screenshot of the one that I was replying to. I wrote down their information and then YouTube must have flagged it as being a bot or a spam or whatever it was. But basically it was exactly like this post post. It was exactly like this post was and many of the other dozens that I'm sure we've all seen. Okay. So the first thing I did was I created a fake email address and I got a burner phone. And I was also very careful to only email these people using an old computer, just in case when they emailed me back, if they had any viruses or spyware or anything like that embedded in it, it wouldn't affect my computers that I actually care about. So the comment that I was replying to was talking about an in amazing investment manager named Gerald Hamilton. And the comment actually gave Gerald Hamilton's phone number. So I went ahead, I went ahead and called the great Mr. Hamilton. And I've actually got a quick audio clip that I recorded of that conversation. Now I did crop out some of the small talk that where he was asking where I live. I just made stuff up. He asked me if I had any investment experience. I said, oh, shucks, I don't have any. I hope to have, you know, great, a great experience with you. I hope I can make a lot of money. Here's what that clip sounds like. So I'm just going to make calculations for you based on day trading. Um, for example, I'm going to use um, $500. So if you invest, if you have to invest five hundred dollars right now to day trade, um, long term plan, um, you basically like get um out of um five percent of um five hundred dollars that is twenty five dollars twenty five times five times a day that um gives you seven that gives you basically um seven times uh twenty five times five times a day that gives you basically one hundred and twenty five right? Yeah. So your profit for that day is $125. Then you times $125 times seven. $675. Oh, okay. That's how much profit you make in a week from $500 long term plan. Okay, now just to be clear, if we give this guy $500, he can return $875 per week because apparently he day trades Bitcoin seven days a week and apparently he's never wrong. Thankfully, he's got these amazing, amazing investment day trading signals. Okay. Now, after he said all of that, I asked him if he could email me the math so I could review it with my wife. He said he would. And then he explained that, uh, my minimum investment had to be at least $2,000. I said, I was super excited to get started. Email me and email me the investment proposal. And if he could send me something verifying that he was legit. And he did first, he sent me his certificate. And we can see that the great Mr. Gerald Hamilton is an expert in advanced trading technologies. And he received this certificate from Modulus. Now, the, one of the first things that jumps out at me was the fact that this particular certificate expires in 2047 and he got it in 2017. This means that this particular certificate lasts 30 years. 
Now, just to give us a point of comparison, if we got our Series 7 license, which is what we need to be a stockbroker, that Series 7 lasts two years before we have to renew it. This one lasts 30 years, so that's a bit suspicious. And now I was actually curious if this company was a real company. It turns out they are a real company. Looks like they uh, provide some of the technology behind different trading platforms. But there's no indication that they actually give out any certificates. I've actually called them a few times. I tried reaching out to, C to the CEO of that company to let him know what these people are saying, that they're getting a certificate from there, but he hasn't come back to me. Okay, then on to the email itself. So this is a screenshot of the exact email he sent me. So first he said he needs some basic uh, information. Simple enough. And then if we invested, this is the math he gave me. $2,000 a day, we would earn 10% a day, which is $200 a day. This time he cleaned it up and said that he would only be trading five days a week since there was five trading days in a week. So $1,000 a week. Okay, now this is where he loses me. He then applied that $1,000, which I thought was a week, and I assume he took that, he made a mistake and is pretending that it's that somehow going to be $1,000 a day. So he multiplied it by 30, giving us a profit of $30,000 a month. Plus we get our $2,000 back. So we invest 2,000, we get 30,000 a month. So needless to say, this is all garbage. Sure, some people do day trade and some people actually make a good living doing it, but it's not easy to do and there's no simple way of doing it. Certainly nowhere near what this guy's talking about. And generally to day trade, you need a lot of money to make a very little money consistently. Okay, so I go ahead and I tell this guy that I'm interested and I give him my phone number. And he starts to call me. And he calls and calls and calls. And most of the time, I don't answer, although sometimes I do pick up. And he explains to me that all I needed to do to start with the $2,000 investment was to send him $2,000 in Bitcoin. So I ask him, couldn't I open a Fidelity or some other online trading plat uh, some online trading account and give him that login information? No, it needs to be sent directly to him in Bitcoin. There's nothing that says it's not a scam like send me non-traceable currency. So I tell him that I'm afraid that this isn't legit. I'm afraid we could lose money and I ask him, is there some way to prove what you're doing? He says, I'll send you some of my Bitcoin trades. So this is what he sent me, this screenshot. This is from him. He tells me that these Bitcoin trades are, comp uh, are trades that he had made the day before we spoke. And we first may notice that, first of all, these are not Bitcoin trades. Second, these trades are made back in February. And third, these are all buy orders. How do we know these were even profitable without the other side of the trade? You gotta buy it and sell it or sell it and buy it. You can't just give me buy orders and tell me you made money on every one of them. So I called him out on this and he said, oh, my mistake, I sent you the wrong trades and I'll send you the new ones. He then sends the new ones. Once again, these are not Bitcoin trades. These are currency trades. Now, I have a guess as to why he keeps showing me currency trades. And that's because there are many different currency trading platforms that allow us to practice trading in a simulation account. So if you ever wanted to practice day trading to see if you could actually make money, at least day trading currencies, there's a lot of platforms that do it. That's what I'm guessing this is. Well, this went on for a few days. And finally, I called him out on the whole thing being a scam. I said everything was, I said it all seemed fake. And he started yelling at me. He said I was missing a great investment opportunity to make $30,000 a month for just two grand today. And then he hung up on me. So if you see anything like this, please ignore it or report it to YouTube or whatever. But either way, don't contact them unless you want to get harassed and you're interested in having a good laugh. But don't do it. Now, if we're looking for a more legit way to invest, I actually did a video where I walked through eight steps to analyze a stock. It will not make you $30,000 in a month from a $2,000 investment because that is not the way investing really works. So if you're curious, perhaps that could be a good next video for you to watch. I've got a link right here. I've got a link in the description below. And I can say that if you follow that process, it is a good steady way to better understand a company and try to determine if it's a good investment. If you're curious, link here, link below. Thank you so much for sticking with me all the way to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. Stay away from the scams. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks.